Ice anglers can't cover a lot of water, like open water fishermen fishing out of a boat. They're really limited to cutting holes and fishing vertically below them. They can cut several holes in a certain area and they can move around, but really they're limited to just fishing the water that's below them. This is where using the right type of lure that enables the fishermen to attract fish in the different water columns from further away really helps to increase their chances of catching those fish. Knowledgeable ice anglers know that the line of jigging rapalas are really a standard when it comes to fishing the different water columns and they make such a variety of lures that you can fish for any type of fish from panfish to some of the largest trophy fish. They can be jigged very gently or they can be jigged aggressively to make them slide across vertically and horizontally from side to side. Depending what kind of fish I'm going after, I really like to mix up my presentation. So what I'll do is do some very short jerks with my rod, just to make that lure dart a little bit, and then I'll pause it, and then make two or three very big twitches with my rod to make that lure have a very erratic action and even go into a figure eight pattern. When I'm targeting fish that are close to the bottom, a lot of times I'll let my lure hit the bottom so it makes a little puff of silt and then I'll make two or three jigs, making it look like a bait fish that's feeding near the bottom. Once I get a fish interested, I'll start to lift it up and make bigger jerks and increase that darting action as if the bait fish is trying to get away. Changing up the colors depending on the time of day and the conditions, whether it's bright out or dark. Using the right size of jigging rapala, sometimes even large fish will be more apt to hit a smaller lure if it's presented properly than a larger one. That can make all the difference in you consistently catching fish through the ice.